Did you know there's a place where you can go to find over 350 different species of birds, thousands of alligators, otters, bobcats, snakes, and more, all for free. Today we're going to give you exclusive access to one of Central Florida's best kept secrets, the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. This route of interconnected driving trails sprawls over 11 miles and is a great way to spend your day sightseeing. Before we start, we want to give a big shout out to the St. John's Water Management Team for allowing us to be out here and for continuing to preserve the nature day in and day out. So we're about 15 miles northwest of Orlando, which is famous for its theme parks, but today we're at a different type of attraction, a nature sanctuary. We're on the sprawling north shore of Lake Apopka. This was all once part of the lake, but in 1941, these wetlands were separated, decreasing the overall size from about 50,000 to 30,000 acres in support of agricultural production during World War II. All right, so now we're gonna go check out our first stop, the pump house. Step on it. Oh, that's right. Speed limit's only 10 miles an hour, so don't think you're gonna be racing anybody. Lake Apopka is known to all Central Floridians, but it doesn't have the best reputation. It was once home to world-class bass fishing and muck farms, but over time, it became Florida's most polluted large lake. Decades of residual agricultural pesticides and fertilizers have triggered harmful algae blooms, poisoning the lake and eliminating the bass population. As a result, St. John's River Water Management District has recently teamed up to improve the quality of both the water and life in the area. These efforts have dramatically improved water quality and has allowed the wildlife to grow in popularity. Here we are at the pump house. The pump house was originally used by farmers in the 1940s to drain the North Shore. It would pump water back into the lake to make this area more farmable. The only problem is the soil became oxidized, which decreased the elevation over time. Today, it is used to maintain the wetlands water levels and to pump aluminum sulfate into the water to improve its quality, supporting a more broad recovery of the natural ecosystem and wildlife species. Now for the exciting part, the alligators. Now, there's not gonna be any gator wrestling here, but why go to Gatorland when you can come here for absolutely free? And they're everywhere, but don't get too close. Even if you're trying to take a photo, the St. John's Water Management Team does not allow its visitors to approach the animals. More animals than you can think of are calling this place home. That's one of the reasons why these restoration projects are so important, with several being led by the St. John's Water Management Team. One project being the gizzard shadfish harvest. These fish thrive in polluted water and grow rapidly. Their bodies are filled with high levels of phosphorus and nitrogen, both toxic for the water. Each year, a million pounds of shad are removed in hopes to clarify the water and restore the bass population. Another project is the Lake Apopka Marsh Flowway, a 760-acre wetland located along the northwest shore. It's a man-made filtration system that removes treatment cells and algae sediments from the lake. These are just a few ways the St. John's River Management District is trying to restore the area, but all of us can help. One way we can all help out is by conserving water at home. Another is by using phosphorus-free fertilizer around your home. Being out here on the trail on a beautiful day like this makes you think about being more cautious. So if you're a photographer, nature enthusiast, or just looking for something fun and free to do, be sure to check out the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. It's open Monday to Thursday for people looking to walk or bike the trail, or Friday to Sunday for anyone who wants to drive the trail. The hours are 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., so make sure you guys check this place out. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave us a like and let us know where we should go next. I'm Ryan with Stockworth. We'll see you next time.